What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Yes, if you hear it in my throat, <clears throat> I'm getting over, trying to get over this cold. I've been a little stiffly. I'm stuffed up over here. I don't know where I got this dang cold from. I think I got it from my son. Uh, but, you know, trying to make these videos for you guys. Yesterday I was just laying on this couch all day, just dead. That was it, watching, you know, TV and uh, I don't know what we got over here. Um, all day, you know, just, just being lazy yesterday. So, but... Uh, why I want to make this video for you guys is because I keep getting a lot, a lot of DMs from you guys. Eddie, I'm looking at a Ram, what'd you pay? Eddie, I'm looking at a Ram, what'd you buy? I'm looking at Limited, looking at Laramie, looking at this, what'd you pay? So, I'm going to give you guys just the honest truth of how much this thing actually costed. I'm just going to be honest with you guys and sh pretty much show you the contract, show you all the numbers, uh, show you what it costs, show you what I put down, show you the interest, show you all that, you know, good stuff that you guys asked me about. Now... Before I do get into that, this, I want to explain to you guys, so it's making it clear, this is a 2019 Ram 3500 single wheel, obviously, and this is the high output with the 1,000 foot-pounds of torque with the ice and transmission. Now, this is a limited, so this is uh, their highest one. I, I thought the Laramie was, but I guess now the limited is their highest package, so... I'm not sure how many different packages they have. I know they have like the big horn and, and I think Laramie Limited, Laramie then Limited. Now, uh, what the differences are at that, I, I'm not sure, I can't tell you guys. But I do know the only thing I really added on this truck was a sunroof, the cab lights, because the cab lights I guess did not come with them, so I added that. Um, other than that, there wasn't much to add. It was giving me stuff that you know would be useless for us in California, like it said, like snow plow package. Uh, I think, oh, and I did not add the airbags in the rear. A lot of you guys asked me, why don't you add that? Uh, I don't like their airbags because they're not adjustable. So when I'm driving and I'm going out to the desert, what I like is on the wireless one button with air lift, uh, I like how I can adjust it on the fly. You know, dump some air, lift it. Uh, it makes the ride really, really smooth. So that's the reason why I did not go with the um, airbags in the rear. Also, you guys telling me about the step. Yes, I, I didn't like that step. I didn't get it just because they're like when you got to put your foot on it. So when you sit and you push that little thing right there, it like sticks out this far. And I didn't like the way it looked. So I think those were the only uh, two other options that were available on this thing. Like I said, other than the um, snow plow package and stuff that's kind of useless for us here in California um, you know we don't really get too much snow other than that uh, she's pretty much you know fully loaded um, it's got all the packages I added on it uh, I guess it was called the level one group I think you have to get it when you get the limited I believe it comes with it uh, it does have the big display because some of you guys tell me Eddie and I didn't even know uh, they made this but they say or you guys are telling me did you get the one with the big TV or the little TV uh, I assume the display. I did not know they made these things uh, with a small display. I thought all the Rams now came, you know, with this big uh, center screen in it. So that I was not aware of. Oh, and yes, I added the auxiliary switches. These were an option also because I guess uh, if you don't get them, there's like toggles here. So I wanted the auxiliary switches. Uh, I believe that was it, guys. There's a... Uh Nothing else, and it's a mega cab, uh, but other than that, that's it. She finally hit 1,900 miles on her, so we're trying to put some mileage on this thing, but I got nowhere to go. And yes, if you're wondering, interior, I did get the all-black interior. Uh, Big Lou is the one that got that peanut butter-looking uh, interior on his, which looks really, really good. I do like that, uh, but I prefer the all-black just because, well, you know, on Big Lou's, you can tell. Luckily, he got a ceramic coat at his interior also. But when you got his interior, you can see like the blue jean marks uh, from the seat. So that's why I got the all black because it just doesn't show bad. All right, now let's get to uh, price and go sit down right over here. Oh, it's going to feel good to sit down. But uh, so we're going to sit down here and I'm going to show you guys the sticker. So this is the sticker of this vehicle right here, the ramp. So you can see here, 19, <clears throat> 3,500 mega cab. So the base price, 67300 When you add all of your options, so I added, here it is. Oh, I added also the uh, color bumper. I don't like the chrome bumpers. Level 1, I guess that's just automatic. Uh, that came with 3500 The sunroof I added. The, what is it, auxiliary uh, switches, yes, I added that. 
clearance lips, lamps, uh, 100 bucks, I'll take it. Ram boxes, yeah, I got rid of that. I did not like that. Oh, and I added the dual alternators uh, with the 440 amps. So total came to 85765 plus tax. So you'd be paying, you know, with tax here in California, about 90, 92 grand for this truck. Uh, out the door. This is just, you know, the price without tax. Now, what did I pay for this truck? Well, here you go. You guys ready? All right, here it is, guys. Oh, let me show you if this thing will focus. There you go. 19 Ram. Now, where? Oh, right here. So, I paid for this truck out the door with the whole uh, shebang and everything. Where is, where is it? Here it is, right here. Put that focus for you. Come on, there you go. $82,477.76. Now, I financed. 45,500. If you're wondering why I did that, well, Ram had a deal. You guys notice here, you see annual percentage rate, all this, zero. Zero percent interest. So, reason being is because they had a, a deal going on, it's probably still going on, a three year, uh, 36 month, zero percent interest free. Now, when you guys purchase a vehicle, if you can figure out a way to get the lowest, lowest percent interest, that's the best. Interest is a pain, it's horrible, you don't, it, it just sucks, you know, nobody wants to pay interest. Now some vehicles, you know, you got no choice. Now on this thing, and you're telling me, well, like, so what I did here is I put, I think, I believe it shows right here, yeah. So what I had to put down to keep that, I'll show you the payment also, I put 45,000 down on this truck, so in three years, this truck will be paid off at 0% interest. So in three years, I will still be paying 82,000 right here. Still be paying the $82,000 for the truck. Not where you're sitting there. They wanted to charge me on this thing 4.9% and my credit is excellent. That's with me having really, really good credit. He said, that's like the lowest we can go. We can't go any lower than that. I'm sorry. I go, you know, that's that's horrible, that's ridiculous. I'm not paying 5% interest on this truck because number one, you're gonna end up paying, you know, way more than that 82 uh, than you initially bought the truck. And number two, you know, it's just, at the end of the day, that's not a deal. You know, you, you're not just saying, like the same goes for the Can-Am. So the Can-Am, uh, just make it quick for you. When I bought this thing, they said, oh yeah, they gave me this thing for, I think it was 25 out the door. At the time, that was a smoking deal, 25 out the door. But then they want to charge me 9% interest with my good credit. I go, dude, I got good credit. What do you mean 9%? Oh, yeah, that's all off-road vehicles, all 9%. I go, that's horrible. That's, that's stupid. You know, because then at the end of the day, you're not paying 25. You're going to end up paying, you know, your 25 plus your 9% interest. So uh, in some situations, it's better to pay cash. That's why for this, I paid cash. So that's it. It's done. I got it for 25, not paying interest. This thing... You know, uh, same thing. I said, well, what do I got to do to get the three year? Because uh, I'm not, I don't want to pay the interest. So he said, well, if you pay, or if you do three year, put 45 down, then um, I will owe, currently this is what I owe on the truck, 45,500. And uh, where is, so I'm trying to find the payment for you guys. My monthly payment is, I don't even know what the monthly payment is. I think it was like a thousand bucks or a thousand something. Let me see if I can find it for you. I know it's here somewhere. All right, give me a sec. Let me find this payment for you guys over here. Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay, so the my monthly payment for this truck is a thousand twenty-seven dollars and sixteen cents, and which to me that's perfect because in three years this thing will be paid off, done, interest-free. So I will be paying eighty-two for the truck, not eighty-two plus you know, 5% interest that they want to charge me on it. So, for you guys asking me uh, about all that, like, somebody, I've had like three, four DMs, uh, not a lot, but some of you guys say, Eddie, what's the proper interest rate? You know, what should I be paying where I'm not getting ripped off? Honestly, guys, it all depends on your credit, all depends on your financial, you know, what you can, what you cannot afford, uh, that all depends on you. Now, some people, they're paying 10, 15, 20% interest. I mean, if they want, okay, it's up to them. Uh, you know, it's their car, their money, they can do what they want for their money. Uh, me personally, I just don't like to pay interest if I don't have to. So, and also, you know, why would you give all the money, you know, to them and pay it off if 
they're gonna give you three years interest free. You know, I mean, it's, it's free money. So I will not give them your money. If, if I can put 45 down and pay that monthly payment and you're gonna charge me 0% interest, guys, that is a deal to me right there. I will not give them your money. If they're telling you you can keep it, just pay me 1,000 bucks a month or 1,027 a month and that's it, you know, no interest, so I'm done. Take it guys, take it and run. Also, some of you asked me, or some of you guys asked me, Eddie, did you lease it? Did you buy it? No, I bought the uh, Ram. I did not lease it. I've never leased a vehicle. Um, not saying I don't believe in it. I have just never leased. I don't know, you know, anything about the leasing, how the program works. And me personally, I don't like leasing vehicles. Well, because after the two year, three or whatever mark, you're giving it back to the dealer. And as you guys know, with my vehicles, I like to add a lot of stuff. So I like to put a lot of money into it. And I heard you either got to take it off or you give it to them like that. So. Uh, I'd rather just purchase the vehicle. I know people say, well, leasing, uh, you get a cheaper payment. Um, okay, you know, uh, that's cool. But again, you know, I keep adding a bunch of stuff to my vehicle. So to me, it's not wise to lease. Now you guys not, guys know, um, you know, um, what I paid for the truck. So let me know. Comment down below if I got a good deal, a good deal or not. But that's all I got for you guys. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.